Hi, I'm Dr. Wilson. I'm a PhD molecular biologist and welcome to another COVID debunking video. For this week's topic, I'm a little tardy to the party because this bit of misinformation has been out there for a while now, but it doesn't seem like it's going anywhere. It just won't die. So I figured I'd talk about it. And it's this idea of Paxlovid rebound. This topic doesn't have as much to do with conspiracy theories and disinformation as my usual topics do. It has more to do with just misinformation and bad reporting based on a misunderstanding of how Paxlovid and COVID actually work. And it's unfortunate because it's a misunderstanding that's actually leading to a good amount of hesitancy when it comes to actually taking Paxlovid for those who may need it. Hundreds of Americans are still dying every day from COVID. And the only reason that number is that high is because we're not using the tools that we have properly. And that number is expected to rise as we move further into winter. If you've already had at least three doses of COVID vaccine moving into the winter season, then you are going to be very well protected against severe outcomes from COVID. However, if you are elderly or otherwise extra vulnerable to severe outcomes from COVID, then Paxlovid might be for you. So since high-risk people who are fully vaccinated and go on Paxlovid have close to a 0% chance of progressing to severe disease from COVID, it's important to understand these tools and use them effectively. So if you are at risk or you know people who are at risk, have a plan for if you get diagnosed with COVID moving into the winter season. I am not a medical doctor, so this video should not be taken as medical advice. However, I am linking several resources in the description below to accredited medical resources so that you can properly inform yourself and advocate for yourself as a patient should you need to. These resources include a clinical guidebook to treating COVID from Dr. Daniel Griffin, an MD, PhD in New York City. Right, so let's get to the misinformation here. This idea of Paxlovid rebound that is making people hesitant to actually start a course of Paxlovid. I'll cut right to the chase here. Paxlovid rebound is not a thing. It's just COVID. So what do I mean here? Paxlovid rebound is referring to this phenomenon where you get sick from COVID, you start a course of Paxlovid, you start to feel better, and then a few days later, you start to feel crummy again. This feeling crummy again phase is what people are referring to as Paxlovid rebound. But the reason this is kind of silly is because this is just how COVID works. This has always been a typical course of COVID. You start to feel crummy, then you start to feel better again. And then after you start feeling better, you get sick again. It's a normal course of COVID. This second part of feeling crummy again is actually called the inflammatory phase. What's happening here is you're getting infected with SARS-CoV-2, the virus begins to replicate in your body, and that brings on a first wave of symptoms of feeling crummy. Then as that replication starts to get under control, you start to feel better again. However, after that, your body enters a state of an immune response where you can start to feel crummy all over again. Sometimes you might even feel worse than that first initial phase of symptoms. Again, before Paxlovid, this was well known as the inflammatory phase of COVID. So I'm not sure how it morphed into being called Paxlovid rebound and being associated only with Paxlovid. It has happened independently of Paxlovid since the beginning of this pandemic. There are plenty of data and evidence in the literature to support exactly this. Those who didn't take Paxlovid were just as likely to experience Paxlovid rebound as those who took Paxlovid. It doesn't make any sense to brand it as something completely different when we know it to be its own thing. So please don't be confused when people talk about Paxlovid rebound and use it as a reason to maybe not take Paxlovid. It's not going to be a problem and you really should take it if you are at risk. Paxlovid is an antiviral that will specifically target the SARS-CoV-2 virus and not your own cells. It will stop the virus from replicating and progressing to that severe disease that can happen when that replication doesn't get under control properly. So moving into the winter season, please be informed about these things. Again, check out those accredited medical sources in the links in the description below so that you can inform yourself and properly advocate for yourself or a loved one coming into the winter season if you run into a situation where you might need Paxlovid and can't properly get it. And of course, not everybody can take Paxlovid. There are certain medical conditions that are contraindicated for it. If that is the case, then there are other options for you. Again, 
check those links in the description for a clinical guide on how to treat COVID. The most important thing is to have a plan. Know exactly what you're going to do if you test positive for COVID and you're at risk of severe disease. And if it's possible, then talk this plan through with your doctor so that you can both be on the same page as to what you need to do should this situation arise. Remember, the goal here is to use the tools that science has given us properly so that we can best reduce the suffering and deaths caused by this infectious disease, especially moving into a time of year where numbers are expected to rise. And to any news stations or reporters who have reported on Paxlovid Rebound and called it as such, then please try to be more responsible in your reporting and get the most accurate information before you actually report on these things. And with that, I'll say everyone in the Northern Hemisphere, please stay safe and enjoy your winter season. This has been a short video this week. I do hope you've enjoyed it. As always, all the links to all the science that I talk about in this video are in the description below so that you can read them for yourself. And if you did enjoy this video, then don't forget to maybe check out my Patreon and definitely subscribe so that you can catch me next week where I'll be debunking some more funky stuff. See you then.